Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. So in the last episode, we caught up on a lot of the Prankster comics that we had not been receiving as of late. We also defeated Bowser one more time. And in this episode, we're gonna make farther, for farther progress, further progress into World 5. Ooh, I love this level, the top of Top Man's Tower. I don't think we've seen this um, gimmick per se. I, uh, mechanic is probably a better way to put it. I don't think we've seen this particular one yet. Um, it's really neat, though, so I look forward to it. Also, go! Ha ha ha! That's what I'm talking about, Willis! That was some good aim there. Um, so here we have all this crazy stuff happening, and do not get caught in that. It's going to send you straight off the edge. However, you hit one of those buttons, and suddenly it's magical slowdown time land. Except the doors. The doors still open fairly rapidly. We're just gonna wait here so we can hit that one more time. And I know we have to go somewhere around here, but... Okay. So yeah, there was one more door in that. And let's see, I think we can make it out here. Yeah! And bounce? Have we seen this guy yet, either? He's a bouncy McBounce! Yeah! And Sling Star, and now... This just, uh, severely reminds me of... Uh, Thwomp's Fortress, or Womp's Fortress from... Uh, Mario, Super Mario 64. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, ah! We had almost made it, too. There we go. That wasn't so bad, now was it? And... Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh! What? What? Okay, I'll take it! <laughs> that was fairly magical. Um, I'm okay with a little bit of magic, though. Um... I think I'm just gonna have to wait for this button that time. That kind of screwed up. However, that totally makes up for the fact that I kind of just flew through the floor. So, and... Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! Uh, no, no, no! Do not... D don't you dare hit me! So if we hit both these guys, we can just spin them. You don't have to worry about them hurting you from the sides. It'll spawn you a little bouncy guy, and you can hit the star. That's just a fun little romp, all, all things considered. It, there is some deadly stuff in it, but for the most part, the deadly stuff is easy to avoid. And it's just a fun little, here, have fun with this level, we made a new mechanic just for you. Um, type, type of level. So if you subtract 100 from our star bit total, you have 8 squared. Um, I don't know what it, what it is with me and pointing out the different types of, um, or the different numerical references to our stars or something. Let's see, what should we do now? Sure, let's just do the Boo Moon Galaxy. I haven't done... I actually haven't done this galaxy in quite a while. Sorry if I sound kind of... um... suppressed? I just had nachos, and there... I think I have a piece of chip stuck in my throat, which I didn't notice until like five, uh, five seconds ago. So... There, hopefully drinking a little bit of soda will help. So it's really easy to get lost here in this little level because there's all those things that um, that keep opening up. I don't, I don't remember the... I was going to say, I always had a mechanic for how to get through here pretty straightforwardly and easily every time. And I guess that's it. I don't remember exactly... <laughs> I don't know precisely what I just did. But whatever it was, it worked. So <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say, even though I don't exactly know what I just did to do it. Or... something. That's just a lot of pronouns that need... Uh, yeah, pronouns? Not really pronouns, just non-specific nouns that need references. And if you just go whoosh, yay, and we can get ourselves a life. Or three lives, sorry. We just have lives for days up here. Life, life, life. Uh, isn't there safety down there? I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, whew. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't actually go off there. And holy crap, the wall just folds up right into you. And you can walk up the wall. This, uh, dang it. Just slid off the edge. Uh, that's all one hit kill there. <coughs> but that actually ties into what I was saying last episode about, like, how, uh... It just, the gravity, you have to learn how to think with the gravity of this game, so it's all, it's very different. 
than real life is. And man, that is the easiest little bonus to get if you just if you just launch yourself like that. Also, if you don't make it on this in time, you are screwed. They don't give you any kind of recompense there. And there we go. Okay, that's that's not so hard after all. Now that I know where it is, at very least. So I'm not gonna be dumb, I'm gonna stay back here this time. Because last time that was that was completely my fault. My death was my fault. I mean, that's really to be expected, all things considered. Hello there, Mr. Comet Metal. Let me put myself inside you. Uh, so that was actually not that hard to get at all. Uh, there is another thing out there, but we don't need to go out there right now. We have this little... Oh, no. No, uh, I wanted you to backflip. Thank you. Wait. That time you just stopped moving. Okay, either way, it doesn't matter. That's not that hard to do. <laughs> and they put it outside the moon. So you get to launch yourself off the side of the moon. You get to shoot the moon, kind of like hearts. And get all those as soon as you can. Man, and here's just another... Uh, odd mechanic, is, is probably a good way to put it. Um, this whole thing is going to lift up, and you can totally just walk on this. It's like a paper book. It's like Paper Mario all over again. Um... Give me... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, so close. Oh, well. It's not like it's that hard. Um, hey, little button. You wanna... Oh, oh, yeah, 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 it's timed. I forgot. After you... Um, hello there, Mr. Booze, who are just, like, all in my way. No, no. Okay, that was just dumb. Um... After you press the button once, it's all timed. So let's see if we can just wait here and get lifted up to our destiny. Hey, that wasn't so bad at all. Um, and now the star goes up top, doesn't it? Like on top of this house? I'm pretty sure it does, up there with the life. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that life is not worth it at all. Um, oh, wow, we totally overshot that, too. Where's all the booze? There were booze all around me there. And now they're all gone. Also, the way that house collapsed while the camera was spinning around, that was some trippy, physics-looking, camera-angling, directing-style naughtiness. Also, uh, the, the perfect amount of lives has come and gone. I don't have any num numerical thing to say about 257. I mean, I guess it's one off of 256, which is a pretty important number. But other than that, Guillermo... Guillermo, you're in Space Storm Galaxy now? Why can't you give me, uh, like, prankster comments for previous worlds? I just finished Space Storm. I don't want to go back there immediately. 1,500 to go there. Oh, we still have another star in Boo Moon. What am I doing? I'm just not paying attention. I'm being distracted by Mr. Guillermo, and that is just the worst thing. Haunting the Howling Tower. What is this? Um... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. New mechanics again. What is this, an all-white mushroom that has teeth and a, and a weird-looking creepy face? Yeah. Okay, so same story, different day here. Walk straight through here, then we're going to take it up here. And then here you take a right, and you take it down here, and now there's statues. Statues for stuff to do. Um, okay, I don't know where the exit here is. I know it's not over here, but I saw that life. So in that case, there's really only one direction left to go, which is here. Hello there, Mr. Boo Portrait. Can I go through you? No. Boos can probably go through you, yo though. Through you, yo. Is it over here? No, but I got another life, and a life picture. Uh, is there a ceiling on this? There is. Okay, so you can't launch yourself over that. That's good to know. I've, I can't believe I've never tried that before. But that seems like the kind of thing that would have been the first thing I would have tried. But... but no. Uh, oh, hey, there's there's the pipe. Get in there, Mario. Just shove yourself right down there. She won't complain, I promise. Um, oh, fantastic. And now we're in a 2D platforming area. And suddenly we're like... I talked over the music. Um, we're like... I don't even know what we are, the Michelin Man? So yeah, if you shake the Wii Remote, you can go invisible. Um, I do believe you'll still get hit by enemies whilst invisible, though, so do do be careful. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, climb, Mario, climb, Michelin Man. Yes, you are marshmallow-tastic. Uh, I don't even know what else to say about, about Mario there. Oh, oh, 
Come on, carry me, wind. Yes. This isn't so bad at all. Kind of a weird controls, though, because to rise up, you have to tap the A button, like, really, really fast. So, um, for, for any other controls that you have to, like, tap the button to do something really fast, it's kind of hard to control yourself, frankly. Um, at least in my experience. So, it's not the most precise, but it's honestly not bad. Um, it's not like he's super hard to control or anything. Not quite like the spring. Uh, I just wish he ri uh, rose, rised. Um, rose a bit. That was dumb of me. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done in the history of my life. I knew that was happening. You could hear me, like, tensing up before it even happened. I got cocky, and I went a little crazy, and there it is again. I am a retard. Or, no, I'm trying not to say that. I'm just dumb. That That's a better way to put that. No offense to legitimately... Hey, it's... it's I have... I have a cousin. So... So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that like that. And this time I'm not gonna be dumb. And I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna get the star and my life is gonna be refreshed and we're just gonna gloss over that like it never happened. What? We just got a star? That's cool. I don't remember anything that happened in the last two minutes. That's super weird. Short-term memory loss. For the loss. Yeah, that seems legit. Holy crap, we have 71 stars out of 120. That is insane. A soft white mushroom? Yeah, it's not a marshmallow. <laughs> the stuff we're finding is pretty weird, Chugga, you're right. I... I don't know how they thought of it all. I'm pretty sure we have all the power-ups now, though. I don't think there's any new power-ups we're going to be introduced to um, in the rest of the game. I mean, sure, there's new mechanics and stuff, but I don't think Mario turns into, like, Oh, Mario, you turned into a spaceship! Well, you already did here, but that's not the point. We will come back for that hidden star later. Uh, right now, let's do... Uh, sure, let's do this one. Upside Dizzy, that's what it's called. Just because I like these little gravity walls that change stuff and and make it happen. It's just, they're fun to play with. Because especially when you lawn jump into them, and like you lawn jump into one that sucks you towards the ceiling, and then you fall out onto one that, that sucks you towards the ground like normal gravity, you just fly forever and ever and ever. And it's it's just cool, frankly. It it's just a fun it's a fun mechanic. Like a lot of a lot of platformers, some of their levels are really hard and some of their levels are easy, and that's where they get like their quote unquote fun is from their difficulty. Um, Mario, there so many of the levels are just plain fun. I mean the whole game as a whole isn't that difficult. Um but it's still really fun, nonetheless, even for someone like me who really likes platformers. Um, like, I like to think I'm alright at platformers. I won't say I'm the best by any means, but I'm not, I'm not bad at them. Um, but the fact that I can have a platformer, for instance, Kirby's Epic Yarn, is actually a really good example. Also, lol at these Goombas, like, flipping over. Um, Kirby's Epic Yarn is honestly quite easy. I'm not gonna make it. That... Oh, yes! Haha! -ha! Suck on that! What are you gonna do about it? You didn't think I could make it in that pipe. But alas, here we are. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, oh, get off of me, I say. Get off of me. I didn't realize they hurt you. I just thought they slowed you down. Okay, well, learning things. It's like magic. Um, but Kirby's Epic Yarn is a very easy platformer. In fact, it is impossible to die in Kirby's Epic Yarn. However, th from the level design and just the constant... Um, Oh, okay. Well, I'll take that. I can get the combo medal, at least. Um, oh, well, thank you. Um, the constant difference in levels and different mechanics and stuff they have, man, it's taking me forever to say this, uh, makes the game consistently fun. So, Mario Galaxy kind of like that, I guess? I mean, that wasn't the best example to use for that. Also, uh... Thank you. Whew! That was do or die right there, <laughs> literally. It was get the star or you have one heart and you are dead. And I am Ninja. Did anyone else out there watch I am Ninja like back in its heyday when it first started? Back, that was probably, oh my god. 2005 or 2006? That was a long time ago now. It was like a web series, like... One of the first video podcast type things out there. Uh, 
but uh, it was it was really funny to say the least is what it was. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, though, sorry, that was kind of awkward because I was telling a story as I was trying to end the episode. We will get the two hidden stars in each of those galaxies. We might go visit Guillermo, I'm not sure. And then we will do Mr. Question Mark here. And eventually we'll get to Mr. Luma because it's going to take us a while to get 1,500 star bits again. So, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.